script uh, functions. So I'm gonna come to the bottom here. I'm just gonna copy and paste the email or the password box, paste it in. I'm gonna highlight all this. I'm gonna hit Control F, and I'm gonna find password and replace email. So I'm just gonna click replace, 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 and click this a couple of times. And I totally messed that up. So Z Z Z Z Z. Okay. And if I can spell the email correctly, which apparently I can't. Okay, here we go. So we have everything right here. We're gonna get rid of the type. Both of these. And we're going to change the value to an uppercase E in right here. So this is what this should look like. Your two functions this is exactly what it should look like. And if we refresh our page, you can see we now have this. Yeah. But it doesn't really work for these because they have the exact same uh, ID as uh, the things up here. So if we change... Uh, the ID of these will simply say password box 2 and username box 2 and we will change this to 2 as well 2 2 2 okay so you might want to change this to something a little bit more appropriate I suppose uh, but what I'm just gonna put is this for the purpose of the tutorial you can really change it to whatever you would like. So put this in here. And just put this to two, 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 two. Username box to two, password box to two, and right there. So if we save and refresh, we now have all of these working. So they're all working. Uh, now we're just going to create our. Um, submit button down here. So we're going to go to our register page and highlight this, paste it in, get rid of all of this. Input type equals and it's going to be a submit button and the name is going to be uh, register button. The class will be button the value will be let's get over a little bit. The value will be register, and that's that's about it. Uh, yeah. So if we refresh, we now have our register button. It's a nice highlighting. If we click it, it doesn't do anything. Go back to our here, and uh, right before I stop this video. Um, I'm going to put in a little asterisk required, so it's going to say all fields required. So, <laughs> we'll just do it like this. And I know this is in the uh, button area. It's right here. So, what I'm going to put is I'm going to put parentheses. And I'm going to say star, or I'll just say required. So I'll just say this, and I will put this with a smaller font size. So font size equals, and I'll set it to minus 2, and end the font. So now I am going to control X, paste it here, here, and here. So we have all of this. And if we save, you see now we have required, required, required. Except I'm going to change all of these twos to ones because it's very small. There we go. So it's a little bit smaller than normal text, and uh, so it's all good. So all three fields are required to register. And as of right now, these are the only fields that are 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 uh, are there 
for you to fill in. Uh, some stop this video here. Uh, in the next video, we will continue on with our user registration. So check out the next part of the video.